In this section we're going to look at how to make smoke in Photoshop. First we're going to start with just a blank document and using the brush we're going to set the master diameter to 65 and the hardness to 35. These are just good starting points for a brush. And so that we can see what we're doing, I'm going to set it to a gray and just sort of draw in and change your sizes. We're going to go down from 65 to 35 and just sort of scatter those around. And then maybe also try 100. So we have a variety of different sizes here. Next, <clears throat> we've got to go to filter and then distort and then wave. And I'm just going to plug in 5 and 10, uh, around 120. Um, the amplitude 5 and 35 or 40 and leave these leave these be here and we can see a little preview there of what's uh, what's going on and a variety of different mixing methods for now we'll stick with sign and we'll choose repeat edge pixels and hit OK and we've got kind of a more uh, distorted smoke now. We're going to keep repeating that until we get kind of a mixed up look here. Um, and we can definitely change the color um, if we go to color balance. We've got a gray, but we can also, um, if we want a different kind of, kind of um, different type of color, we can adjust that with the color balance. If we wanted green smoke, for example, we'll boost that. And we've got kind of the beginnings of smoke. I'll just erase a little bit here and there. And we can keep running that wave filter. And we get a type of smoke effect. Um, you can also, to give yourself some depth if you duplicate that layer and then change how it blends such as screen or multiply and using your eraser tool you can kind of take uh, you can move move the layer with the move tool and use the eraser tool kind of randomly and also run that wave filter again and you can get a pretty in-depth looking uh, smoke effect. Now if we wanted to switch this from green just to gray because smoke's usually that color, uh, I'm just going to say switch to gray and for now I'll, I'll merge those layers together and we've got a smoke effect.